Hello Sagittarius, I am Clara Tupé and welcome to your reading. This reading is about how they feel about you. We're going to dig into these cards and find out, channel what energy resonates with how the person you're thinking about feels about you. The deck has already been cleared with the clear quartz crystals. So uh, Sagittarius, let's get into your reading. I would like to ask you guys to please click that like and subscribe button. I am here new to YouTube. I am very happy to share my energy, my gifts, my psychic abilities of channeling energy with you guys. And all I ask is for you guys to give this video a thumbs up, um, subscribe, maybe share it, and leave a comment. That's it. Thank you guys for your support. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, let's get into this and let's find out exactly how do they see you. How do they see you, Sagittarius, and what do they think? Romantic, romantic love, reflection, first chakra. So let me read the energy of these first three cards. First of all, thank you, Spirit, for channeling the energy for Sagittarius. Let's get into the reading. So with the romantic energy here, the frequency of romantic love uh, supports our experience to know ourselves through the, the reflection and a connection of a lover. So this person sees you very romantic, Sagittarius. <laughs> so I'm on a rising. This person sees you as very, very romantic. You have, you have probably showered them with gifts, affection, and things like that. And as far as reflex, reflection, um, the energy of reflection, it, it supports our growth through the insights we get from the contemplation of ourselves and others. So this person sees you as very self-reflective. So um, this person sees you as the type of person that instead of, of, of criticizing others, you will self-reflect. Okay, you feel that self-reflection is the best direction, and this is how this person sees you. They see you as the type of person that wants to do better, that is always into um, a self-improvement, self-growth. You're you're about self-love, and that's how this person sees you. And with the first chakra, the energy of the root chakra supports our senses. And, and safety of the physical world and reminds us to enjoy our physical body. So this person sees you into health. This person sees that that you're about um, being physical. Um, you're the type of person that likes to work out, take care of yourself. They see you as this type of person that loves to move. You appreciate the physicality of life and you will move at every chance you get. You're the type of person that if you're if you're in the house for a while, say like on quarantine, something like that, you will move around your house. You will walk around your living room. You will squat. You will do yoga. You will do ever whatever it takes to just move around. And this person sees you as very physical. Sensitivity, sensitivity. So with this sensitivity energy, this sensitivity energy is showing me that this person sees you very sensitive. Okay, because the frequency of sensitivity helps us to open up the world um, to us and, and it, it has us to pay attention to the details. You know, it anchors us to our foundation and it supports us to become uh, more fully like in touch with everything else, more multidimensional. That's what this is. So this person sees you very, as very sensitive. You... Um, you're the type of person like you'll cry at a movie. Even if it's a happy movie, sad movie, it doesn't matter. You'll cry because someone else is successful and you're crying for their success. Like you are so happy for them. So this person sees you very as very sensitive. Honest. Your person sees you as very honest, Sagittarius. Okay? Your person sees you as very honest. The energy of honesty supports our choice to be courageous, truthful, and genuine with kindness and tact. This person sees you as honest, but you're the type of person that will tell them to their face exactly how you feel. You're not the type to go behind their back and talk behind their back. There is no, nothing about them that you won't say to their face. 
And if you have said it to someone else, trust me, you said it to them first. And you don't talk about talk about them a lot to to a, a, a lot of people or anything like that. You're not about that gossip or trying to tear them down or hurt them. You only you only discuss it with like really close people, uh, really close people who are close to you. Maybe like two or three people, but you're very honest and you'll speak your mind. You speak your truth. Friendship. And with this friendship energy, Sagittarius, this person sees you as a true friend. They see that they see that you are loyal because the energy of friendship supports our intrinsic desire um, for connection and, and others based on mutual affection and appreciation. So this person sees that you are a real friend. Okay. They feel that um, like if they lose you as a friend, they will not find no one else like you because real friends and true friends are rare. Okay, so what else? Transparency. So this goes along with the truth here. This goes along with truth. So as far as transparency, um, the energy of transparency, that supports our, our expansion toward a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. So this person knows that you're transparent. Like when you met them, you were like, hey, this is me. This is what happened to me in my childhood. Um, you know, I like this. I like that. My dreams are this. You were an open book with this person. This person sees you as very transparent. Okay. You have nothing to hide. So, duality. So with this duality energy, this person knows that you can go in either direction, you know, if you want to. And meaning that um, the frequency of duality supports our ability to gracefully flow with the everlasting movement among all opposites. So this person is like, no, they, they know that you're open to others' opinions, to others' lifestyles. Like you are not restricted and restrained to one set of rules, one set of beliefs, one set of morals. You have your own morals. You have your own beliefs. You have your own things, but you're open to others' opinions. So this person see you as a duality um, type of personality, okay? Divine masculine. So being that we all have uh, feminine and masculine energy, um, this person sees your divine masculine energy. And the frequency of the divine masculine energy supports our active, focused, and strong side, facilitating our capacity to transform our dreams into form. So this person sees you as very freaking strong, okay? This person sees you as very strong. They see you as a type of person that can hold your own. They see you as a type of person that can go at things alone, that could build a dream by yourself. You can manage a team. You can run an office. You could be the head of a corporation. You can hold your head up high. Okay? You can move in spaces where others are afraid to move. All right. And this person sees you as really strong, really, really strong. And you probably are the type of person that is very toned and has and has muscles. Or if you're feminine, you, you're very toned, like your body is very toned and very strong looking. And union. And with this union energy here. The energy of union activates our, abil our ability to unite our outer and inner aspects towards a state of wholeness. So with this, this person sees you as very whole. They feel you as, you know, as complete. This person sees you as very whole and complete. Commitment. Oh, they know that you're committed because you were committed to them with the energy that I'm getting. This person sees that you're committed to everything that you do. You try to um, do it to your best ability. Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. You try to your best ability to do everything. You're committed to everything that you do. You're committed to your family, your job, your dreams, your, your workouts, whatever you do, you are committed. And this person sees that you have a high value of commitment. 
you know, because the frequency of commitment supports our, our ability to devote ourselves in all aspects of being and with unwavering belief. Yes, this person sees that you have un, an unwavering belief system. You, your, your, um, your model is probably like, it's it just belief and movement. Just believe it and go do it. They know that you have a strong commitment and you were committed to them at one point in time. Joy. And with this joy energy here, with this joy energy here, this person sees that you are very happy. They know that you have inner joy as well as outer joy. They know that you don't need anyone and you don't expect anyone to bring you happiness or to bring you love or anything like that. They know that you know how to source that from within. Okay, because the energy of joy activates our feelings of happiness and well-being and supports a, a high vibrational frequency within our being. This person knows that you are happy because you are not freaking looking back. You not looking back at this person. So let's pull out some more cards, Sagittarius, and let's find out what else. Spirit, thank you for that information for Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Let's pull this out. Let's see what this is. Spirit's like, here, take this, take this, take this. Woo. Let's see what it is. So conditioning. So yeah, this person sees you as well conditioned. Some of you guys are probably athletes. Um, you work out every day. Um, they see you as well conditioned to, to handle anything. The rebel, the rebel energy. With this rebel energy, this person sees you as one that will stand alone, the one that will go against the grain, one with one that will buck the current, um, the person that is not going to listen to what everyone else has to say. You're going to walk your own path. You're going to do exactly what you want to do. And you're also, uh, they see you as the black sheep, the black sheep of the family. Okay. Sorrow. This person also sees you as a person that has been through a lot of pain and a lot of grief, a lot of sorrow in your life, which is what made you what you are today. That pain, that sorrow, the things you had to endure. This person knows that you still have some inner work, inner healings to work on. Some things you do still need to work on. And this person knows that. They see that. Okay. And guilt. Guilt. This person feels very guilty. I don't see you having this energy. I see that this person right here feels very guilty for bringing sorrow into your life here. This is what they're thinking right now. They feel very guilty for the sorrow that they caused you. Okay. But when they first met you or you first came into their life, they didn't know that you were going to be a rebel, that you had rebel energy within you because you catered to them. You, you showed them romantic love. You loved them. You were committed to them. You know, you were careful with handling um, them. Okay. So with this energy here, abundance, this person sees you very abundant. Okay. Very abundant mind, body, and spirit. You have everything that you need within you. And if you don't physically see it right now, this person knows that you have it in, in you to go and get it, to have it in front of you whenever you want it. This person knows that you, you have uh, abundance of, of uh, divine intelligence, the cosmic GPS working in your favor to help you to do whatever it is that you want. This person sees your outer wealth. They see how your glow up is. They see how you have been manifesting your dreams, your dream body. Okay. So this, so, so this overall energy, Sagittarius, this person sees you as a very loving, romantic, self-reflective, committed, rebel as boss as a uh, being that is thriving on this planet. Okay. That's what they see. And they feel guilty for the sorrow that they've caused in your life because they know that when they met you, you already had a deep wound and a deep sorrow from childhood. Okay. And they feel guilty about it. So on that note, you guys, I am Clarity Bay. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to channel my energy um, for your um, reading here, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I just ask you guys to click that like, subscribe, and share button. That will help to support my channel. 
I am sending you guys lots of love and good energy.